recording my Tweet Deluxe. It's a small combo amp, it's an open bag amp. And uh, of course, when I'm recording that amp, I'm using two microphones in front of it, uh, a Shure SM57 and a ribbon mic, just like I've been talking about in the first video. But the thing is, when you're listening to an amp like that, what you dig is the sound from the speakers, but it's also the sound coming from the back of the amplifier and the room. So you need to be able to capture that as well. And uh, what I do is I like to add an inexpensive microphone to capture the back of the amplifier. And I'm using a condenser mic. It's an inexpensive uh, vocal mic that I'm not really using for anything else. So let me just show you how each of the three microphones sound. So this is the Shure SM57. And the next one is the Royer. And of course you can blend these two microphones and get a great sound and you'll be really happy. But then the third microphone is the condenser mic and it sounds like this. So if I add the condenser mic to the Royer, it will sound something like this. I think that gives you, you know, the punch and the sparkling top end of the speakers, but it also gives you the bottom and the, uh, you know, the full body of the guitar sound. And then you can sort of blend the two to fit in the track, but at least you got them both recorded. So you can choose when you're mixing the track, do I want to use more or less of one of the mics? Mm. All right. So here we got a small combo amp. It's a one twelfth uh, speaker combo amp and, um, like I showed you in the first video, I'm recording the amp, the speaker of the amp with a uh, ribbon mic and a Shure SM57 in phase, just in front of the amp right here. So once you got that down, you're probably going to think that's, that's a cool sound, but there's something missing. And I'm guessing that what's missing is everything that's coming from the back of the amplifier and the room. You're right. So you can do th two things. One is to add another a Shure SM57. So if you have one in front of the speaker right here, then you can have one that's at the back of the speaker, you know, so you're probably going to have the two microphones like this, just right here. And uh, that will record the back of the speaker and make sure you flip the face on this one. That will work. But what I like to do is to use a condenser mic because um, I think it captures more of the sound of the speaker. So I like to have one of these at the back of the amplifier. Just one other thing I want to mention is, um, I don't think a lot of you guys listen, listen to your amps uh, playing right into your ears like this. It's probably on the floor or um, on a chair or you know whatever. So if you like the sound of your amp when you stand above it, you need to, to have a mic that's uh, above the amplifier somewhere because that's the sound that you really like. So you need to experiment with that.